Welcome to the next episode of Tom's Computer Channel. In this episode, we take some love to a new C64. It's a C64C. So we clean this, recap this, and test this. So let's get started. If you see, we have uh, the C64 hooked up to the TV and hooked up to my self-built C64 PSU. So the link to this video I put down in the description if you want more information. So if you see, it's the C64C. And now let's test this. If this thing is running. And if you see, it's not running. What? Oh, I have forgot the plug put in from the PCU. So now we have power and let's start. Oh, that's bad. Ah, it take a while. If you see, it's running. The picture is not the best quality. So, the first thing we do is take this apart and make a fully recap. Here are the old electrolytic capacitors inside. And so they have to come out. Some of them are broken or dried, so that's the first step. So let's take a closer look. You see here is a sticker from shop that fixed something in back in the day. This Commodore label is a little bit loose on one side. We rip this off and uh, glue them back when we're ready with cleaning this case. From the side it's, it's a little bit dirty. The bags also the case the case is in good shape, only here missing two rubber feet. So let's open it up and take a look inside. Here, there is a missing screw holding the keyboard. The keyboard is in good condition and not that dirty. I think we're pulling up the keycaps and giving a good wipe out, little cleaning. And then it's ready. Put this on the side. And you see here, cardboard shield. So, take the keyboard attachment out. So, And now we can see here, reset button, soldered on the user board. And CIA is socketed, so I think this was 
changed in the past. Also the ROMs are socketed, RAM is socketed, the changed RAM, original is empty RAM in. There's no heat conductive on this on this copper clip. Yeah, it looks nice. And so I think we put them out and clean the case and we clip the board so let's do this and before i take this out you don't uh, see this right this way this way okay it um, the assembly number of this board is in 25407 main board Oh, here we go. Cardboard shielding we put away. You see, yeah, you see after it's picture sharp, it's not that dirty, nothing is broken. And then we flip this over. Here are signs of flux. Here also from uh, former repairs. We we'll clean this all out up when we have checked if there are any problems with this board. Next step is cleaning the case. So before we clean the case, we put the main board on the side. And removing the keycaps. For this I use this handy tool, the keycap remover. So you can go between the keys, twist a little bit, pull it up and you have the keycap in one piece, not broken. And so goes on and on.
the spring under the spacebar is different from the spring under a normal key. I hope you can see this. And now for this uh, keyboard it's a little bit dusty and nothing more. Use a brush. for cleaning the dust away and for the rest I use window cleaner and the microfiber cloth and then we wipe this up and is the keyboard good to go? And then we we'll put this on the side. So, and the next piece is the upper case. We remove this the sticker and remove carefully this badge. It's loose. See it? I lose this from the case. I remove this from the case. And after the cleaning, we glue this in place. For this, I use IPA. IPA is losing the adhesive. Carefully Now we take this badge out, put this on the side, and later we glue the back in place. Now we remove the sticker. Ah. Removing himself.
for the glue residue I use this magic eraser and try to take this apart. No, it doesn't work very well. Okay, so now we wipe this up. A little bit of window cleaner. Pencil marks and stuff like this go away. So go over this side. With a little bit with a magic eraser. So, and the next part is ready to clean in soapy water. Last part, look at the bottom case. So I think here we can go directly to cleaning in soapy water. So now we are uh, soapy water and I put the tea pad in there. And with a cloth and a brush, we clean these keys, keycaps. The keycaps are not that dirty. A little bath. And a good wipe up, and we are good to go. The keys are clean, and you see the water is dirty. And the next part is rinse. We rinse them in fresh water, let them dry. And now is the case on the list. So and here we have more water for the case. Now we're starting with the lower case. It's not that dirty like the upper case.
and the plastic is in this case very stable, it's not brittle. So the case are clean. I rinse them too and then let them dry and then go to the next one and this is recapping. So go to the next step. After cleaning the case, uh, now we make retrobriting. Retrobriting, bare. Now retrobriting we don't need. The case is good. Um, now we went recapping, and we changed this one by one. So there's nothing bad happens. So one of uh, refurbisher. From retro computers, uh, don't recapping the boards. Some other recapping when needed, and some recapping uh, every board. I prefer recapping every board, so I think the machine works more decent with new caps. The caps are old, and uh, so. We have no problems with bad caps. So we change this one by one. I said, so let's go. First here, we apply for solder. And then we put them up and make a new one in. Now we take a wick to clean the holes. When it not get right, use a little bit of flex. If you see, the oh, hole is free. Look at the polarity, the longer leg, the longer leg is positive and here we have the marking, it's a square hole and there is a plus on the side. You can double check before you make it out if the polarity before was right. And you put them in. Bend the legs a little bit. Put them in. Snip the rest of the legs up, and we have a new capacitor in. 
and so you get one by one and then it's done
For this one, I have no replacement. It's uh, not that easy to buy electronic component components at, at this way, so I let them in. And now we clean the board from the underside. You see there are lots and lots of flux from former repairs. And then we can test this machine if it goes after the recapping. So now the board is clean and then now we hook them up and test this. All is hooked up. To make the test easy I uh, mounted the PCB back in this case and so let's test. And if you see, it's working. Done. Now it's time to start reassembling. And for this, we start with the keyboard. I have, I don't have to take a picture of this keyboard when it was fully assembled, but I have an another C64 that they can use for example and so let's start it
And now we have a fully reassembled keyboard. And before we put this in a case, we glue the badge from the upper case in place. So it uh, can be dry. Apply just a little bit of glue. Then we press this in place. And put it on the side to fully dry. And now here we have the lower case. Put this back in place and now we apply a little bit of thermal paste. Not too much. I'm going to take my screwdriver and put this in. Now we can take this LED in place
And now wait for the upper case to dry. Now the glue is dry. And at last we are mounting the LED back in. And close the gas. Put the screws back in. Pay attention to twist um, the screw backwards. The clip in the old threads. And then you tighten them. Otherwise you can damage this standoffs for the screws. And now we finished. We have a perfect overhauling C64C. So now we can use this. So I end up here for this video. Now we have an uh, overhauled C64C, we have cleaned them, we have recapped them, now it's ready to go. And so uh, if you like this, put a thumbs up. If you want to support my channel, subscribe and you uh, get more videos. If you want to miss any new videos from me, put the um, bell icon right next to the subscribe button and so I see you in the next one. Bye!